Hello there, this is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching another Jscape MFD server tutorial. Last time, we showed you how to monitor a directory for new files and then automatically upload those files to a remote SFTP server. Today's video is going to be slightly different. We're still going to configure an MFD server to monitor a directory, but instead of monitoring for newly added files, it's going to monitor old files. As soon as it finds those old files, Jscape MFD server is going to automatically delete them. Let me give you an example. Let's say that we want MFD server to scan the contents of a particular directory and look for files that are at least a year old. And we want MFD server to do that every night at 9.30 p.m. You can specify any age, but for this example, let's just use 365 days or one year. If files that old are found, the server should then automatically delete those files. So for example, if today is July 5, 2017, these files would be deleted. To achieve this, we would need one, a directory monitor that would scan a specific directory for one year old files. Two, a trigger that would activate the directory monitor every night at 9.30 p.m. And three, another trigger that would automatically delete each one year old file found by the directory monitor. Now that we have a plan, let's put that plan into action. First, let's create a directory monitor to detect old files. Go to the directory monitors node and create a new directory monitor. Give the directory monitor a name, example, year old files. After that, click the browse button and then select the directory whose files you want to monitor. Make sure you uncheck the monitor interval checkbox. The reason we want to do this is because it's going to be more efficient to schedule the time for the monitor to go into the directory and look for old files if we use a time-based trigger instead of just relying on the monitor interval feature. After unchecking the monitor interval, go to the events panel and check the file exceeds age of checkbox. You can then specify the age of the files you want to delete. Since you want to delete one year old files in this example, just enter 365. As soon as you're done, click the OK button. Once you've created the directory monitor for detecting old files, the next step would be to create a trigger that would activate that directory monitor every night at 9.30 p.m. We now create a trigger that would activate the directory monitor every night. Go to the triggers node and add a new trigger. Give the trigger a name, for example, Activate Year Old Files Monitor, and select the current time from the event type drop down list. Click the next button to proceed. Specify the time at which this trigger should execute and click next to proceed. Because this trigger is supposed to activate the directory monitor we created earlier, expand the drop down list box and then select Run Directory Monitor Trigger Action. Click OK. Select the name of the directory monitor you created earlier example year old files and click OK to proceed. We are now ready to proceed to the last step. We shall now create a trigger that will run each time an aged file is detected and then subsequently delete that particular file. Add another trigger and give it an appropriate name for example nightly file deletes. Expand the event type drop down list and select directory monitor file aged. Click next to continue. Enter this expression into the expression box. This expression will tell the trigger to perform the subsequent trigger action if and only if the directory monitor file aged event was fired by the year old files monitor. Click next to proceed. Select the delete file trigger action and then click the OK button. It is this trigger action that will delete the old file that's detected by the directory monitor. Whenever the directory monitor file aged event is raised, it will consequently return the complete path of the aged file that was detected. This path will be stored in the variable named file. Thus, we can use this variable to specify which file should be deleted. Note that the value of this variable changes each time the directory monitor file aged event is raised, meaning each time an aged file is detected. Click OK to proceed. That's it. Now you know to automatically delete all the files from each file. 